Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another case of 2024 Topps Chrome Baseball. Eight box jumbo, pick your team seven, all card ship. There is the case, here is the list. Thanks everybody for making this happen on a Sunday. Still stretching out that toner a little bit. We're gonna, we're gonna get to the very, very end of the toner cartridge as long as possible. Um, big thanks everybody for buying their team straight up. Taylor got the Blue Jays, last bought mojo star next to his name. 70% of the time, last bought mojo hits all the time. All right, let's pop open this case. And let's see what we got. We got another case loaded up in the store right now, Topps Chrome Baseball Jumbo fans. So if you miss out on your team the first time, don't miss out this time. Empty case. Got four boxes here, four boxes there. And everything, and away we go. Away we go. Good luck, everybody. Uh, coming up next will be the, the filler for Contenders Football, then the break itself, and then at that point, I'll probably think about taking a dinner break. Check the schedule that's pinned in the chat as well. We got uh, Red Sox here in LA, on a beautiful day in LA here. Nice and toasty. Sunday Night Baseball, Dodgers up 4-2. James Paxton, Big Maple, settling down after giving up a two-run homer to Jaron Duran in the first inning, but now two outs in the fifth. And Paxton has been doing pretty, pretty, pretty well. And just James Paxton throwing 95. Devers having a nice season, 289. 20 plus homers, 900 OPS. All right, box one, here we go. And the relic popping early, it's about one per case. I like the authentication sticker right there. James, James Pax is hitting 96 on the gun? Dang. There's Joey Votto, piece of the jersey. It's Adam Kelly and the Reds. If you look up that series of letters and numbers on MLB.com slash authentication, you will get, a, uh, get an idea of what date that jersey was pulled. And what, if anything, he did that day. If you look on the game log on like baseball reference. There's Otani in that 1989 design going to Chris Phelps. I don't think that card is part of the buyback program, but it's still a good looking one. I'm gonna save a handful of key rookie players here. And here's a green Kyle Schorber going to the Phillies. That'll be for Ryan. 71 out of 99. There is Yoshinobu Yamamoto, who hopefully will be back in the rotation soon. Again, that's for the Dodgers, that'll be for, for Chris. And there's the Jackson Holiday going to O's, that's for Jeff Walker. Kershaw back off the IL will make his debut start sometime this, this upcoming week. Or weekend. There's Ali De La Cruz, base rookie for the Reds, Adam Kelly. And here's our first auto. That's Brandon Walter. 295 out of 499. That will be for Jeff and the Red Sox. Uh, that'll be for Jeff G. We got a Jeff W and a Jeff G in this break. Thank you, Jeffs, for getting in. There's Sedan Rafaela. He's having a nice season. And that's for Jeff G. 
There's a Jackson Merrill for the Padres. That'll be for Tristan. There's Alexander Canario, 94 out of 125. EA of the Cubs. And, and a nice Jung Hoo Lee refractor autograph for, uh, for Hui Nguyen and the Giants. Whoa! Austin Barnes has a home run. They were interviewing a little girl who was in the home run seats who missed a home run ball earlier. Buster only is interviewing her, and there's another homer that went like a couple rows behind her. Wow. They couldn't have scripted that better. It's hilarious. Chung Hu Lee. Uh, Hyper. That's going to be for Nguyen as well. Nice couple parallel or parallel there. Junior Caminero, EA and the Rays. Wyatt Langford is going to go to Nguyen and the Rangers as well. Austin Barnes hitting homers? And there's Kyle Harrison. More Giants. It's time an autograph for Hui Nguyen. Yeah, Austin Barnes is the first homer of the season. He doesn't hit home runs. That's gone. Oh my god. Wow, did that go out of the stadium? I think that went out of the stadium. 473 feet, wow. I think he kind of did. The people in the last row of the outfield are looking behind him. There's Mason Wind to 350. Mason Wind for Jeff W. Summertime in the Park Jackson Holiday insert. And there's a Jason Dominguez rookie auto. Nice. That's going to be for Daniel and the Yankees. Congrats. And we'll do an autograph recap at the end of this break, too. Good first box. Oh, there's Kershaw with the headphones. Yeah, that is a nice hit.
Yeah, I don't think it went over the roof, but it was through the last row. Got some Caminero right here for the Rays. It's for EA and the Rays. Paul Blackburn, 193 out of 250 for the A's. That's for Adam Kelly. A lot of concerns about the A's in Sacramento, will that minor league park be uh, be major league ready? Also, it gets quite hot out there. It's a open roof stadium. Your travel schedule is gonna be crazy. Uh, I think they're gonna be on, on the road more often than not, and it's not gonna be evenly split for them. Here's a Magenta, 163 out of 350, Quinn Priester. It's going to be for Coppola and the Pirates. Aaron Judge, part of the MVP buyback program. It's the, the favorite so far. Otani's the favorite in the NL. It's Ellie Dela Cruz. Jackson Merrill rookie card. And there's Johnny DeLuca, rookie auto for the Rays. That's going to go to EA. James Altman, 36 out of 99, made a great catch over the weekend. And here's a couple Mason wins for uh, the Cardinals, Jeff Walker. Porter, rookie autograph for the Royals. That's going to go to David Baker and Kansas City. Wait, did we only get two autos out of here? I think we only got two autos out of that one, unfortunately. I don't think I missed one, right? It's that unlikely. I did miss an autograph. 
I missed a Quinn Priester auto, which I guess is our... Oh, we had one in the last case. All right. Apologies to uh, Coppola and the Pirates. So there you go. We're back on track with the autos. And that Otani homer took my eye off the ball a little bit. All right, we're back on track. We'll do an autograph recap at the end. Next box. Nice start for James Paxton. Got through 95 pitches, started the sixth inning. Leaving the Dodgers with the lead, in line for the win. Another box. Good luck. There's a Shota. Evan Carter. Does this guy get traded? Luis Robert. I'm going to go somewhere. There's Jackson Churio going to Michael in Milwaukee. Here's a Brenton Doyle, 91 out of 99. Green Wave is going to go to Eric M. and the Rockies. He's been having a nice season. Somewhere in the park insert, Ellie De La Cruz. Oh, I like the way that parallel looks. Just feel summery, the little palm trees in the background there. And there's an Alexander Canario for the Cubs, EA with the Cubbies. Jason Dominguez will go to uh, Daniel and the Yankees. There's uh, Alexander Canario Aqua, 45 out of 199 for EA and the Cubs. Wyatt Lankford will go to Nguyen and the Rangers. And there's a Taylor Colwed. That's going to be for Joseph B. and the Metropolitans. There's a base judge. For Daniel. Caminero for the Rays for EA. Really 
And we've got a gold wave, Yuki Matsui, 10 out of 50 for the Padres. Tristan with the Friars. There's Otani who had a monster bomb not too long ago. Chris with the Dodgers. It went under that sort of corrugated roof that they have there. Almost went almost went over that roof. A little awning. And here's Colton Cowser. Nice. Rookie auto for the O's. It's going to be for Jeff Walker and the Orioles. All right, Oliver, what's going on? You think it went further, Oliver? All right, here's box four. You saw him hit one of those in BP at the All-Star game in 2022. Definitely went through, went under that little roof that's in, out, in the outfield, past the last row. It went through there. I mean, someone must be able to find the spot where it landed and give us an exact distance. So it's really the one they said landed 476 earlier this year was definitely shorter than this one. <laughs> Paul did have to pay for parking. That's, that, that is insane. I wonder who got it. Someone must be sitting out, sitting out there and see a baseball fi kind of fly through. Here's, uh, here's the relic. Is that our second relic? Yeah, we got Joey Votto earlier. Here's a Chris Bryant relic with the MLB hologram sticker. Just go to MLB.com slash authentication. Punch in the letters and numbers and you'll see what date that jersey was from. I hope that happens with more relics in the future, the more of those hologram stickers. Eric M. with the Rockies. We'll get that Chris Bryant. There's Kirkstad for Jeff Walker, Caminero for EA. Another uh, Jung Hoo Lee for Nguyen and the Giants. Yeah, can you imagine standing in line out there at a Shake Shack and then like this ball kind of rolls on in? It's like, oh. There's Ashota, Evan Carter, and Orion. Kirk Herring. That is for Ryan and the Phillies. Summertime in the park, L.A. De La Cruz. Andy Rodriguez, blue to 125. That will be for Coppola and the Pirates. What's the official name on that? I do have a checklist open. Um, 
those are called blue, they're sonar blue is the name, sonar blue. Jorge Soler had a 478-foot homer today, something like that. One of the uh, longest of the season for any player, I think. David Schneider, rookie auto for the Blue Jays. Taylor with Toronto, last spot mojo. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits all the time. And there's Curtis Mead to 350. These are uh, magenta speckle refractors. Magenta speckle. I think I got that one right. A lot of names. Too many names now with these parallels. Another Aaron Judge. Base Aaron Judge. Jackson Holiday. Be one more auto behind Juan Soto. Yes, Kyle Leahy, 20 out of 299, purple speckle autograph. That's going to be for Jeff Walker and St. Louis. To Spencer Steer. Again, I'll do an autograph recap at the end. We're halfway through the break. Probably about another 25 minutes or so to go. This is Pick Your Team 7, Pick Your Team 8 in the store right now. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. If you're watching live, get your team before someone else does. Yeah, all of our teams, teams getting a little healthier. Yeah, James Altman's back down. Hayward, Joe Kelly is back. Glasnow, we knew, I think, I think we knew that he was going to spend the minimum on the IL. Yeah, good to see Kershaw back. If Kershaw can give us, I don't know, four or five innings to start, give us a solid outing, I, I'd be happy with that. Yeah, I'm kind of encouraged by uh, by Gavin Lux, double and a homer today. You still think the Dodgers are going to make some moves, Oliver, by the trade deadline, by the end of the month? Yeah, Gavin, Gavin Lux looking like this may, uh, may save the Dodgers a little bit of, you know, one less thing to worry about in the trade deadline. I wouldn't mind getting this guy, Oliver. Stick him in left field. Teoscar in the other corner. Pajes in center. Maybe Jason Hayward sometimes. Maybe slide Vargas to third. Something like that. I'm not entirely sure if. Ooh, nice Sedan Rafaela. 141 out of 150. Blue Ray Wave autograph. It's a nice one for Jeff G and Boston. He's having a great season. Nice one, Jeff. 
Ooh, and a nice Aaron Judge variation. I'm out of penny sleeves too. That's gonna go to Daniel and the Yankees. I'm not sure what's that, what that's gonna fetch on the MVP buyback market, but, but really nice. Ellie Della Cruz, Heston Kirkstad, Willier Abreu rookie card to 150. Here's Rafael again in his rookie card. And a Jackson Merrill for the Padres. It's going to be for Tristan. Yeah, Oliver, I'm not entirely... I'm finishing my thought here. I'm not entirely sure if, if Max Muncy's actually going to be back, and if he is, if he's going to have enough playing time to really get, get warmed up. That oblique or lat issue seems to continue to bother him. It's Jordan Lawler. Every time he seems like he's ramping things up, they're shutting him back down. Not encouraging. Can't wait around for Max Muncy, you know? It's Jordan Lawler for Matt. And a nice hyper parallel, Shohei Otani. Dodgers. Chris Phelps. You're leading uh, NL. MVP candidate, part of the buyback program. Adalas Garcia, 17 out of 199. Aqua Lava for Nguyen and the Rangers. Here's a Mason Wynn. And an Otani Refractor. I'm going for Chris and the Dodgers. Yeah, if Lux can hit like this, Mookie goes back to shore, Rojas to the bench. Yeah, I don't mind Rojas' glove at defense, although Baseball Tonight just said... Buster only just said that he's got some right forearm tightness. He left the game already. And for Nguyen, here's Jonathan Ornelas, 127 out of 199, Aqua Wave. And here's purple Garrett Cole, 223 out of 250 for the Yankees. That'll be for Daniel. I think someone the other day was just talking with someone randomly about Dodger baseball. Um, here's the next box. Three more to go. Um, Luis Rangifo, who's having a pretty nice season, hitting 315, 800 OPS, six homers. He's got some speed, 22 stolen bases. Not sure if the Angels will make a deal with the Dodgers, but.
but I wouldn't mind sticking him at third. Have a solid hitter towards the bottom of the lineup in that six, seven, eight spot. You know, outside of Teoscar, the outfield really isn't settled. I guess Pajas is doing okay. But put Arozarena as more of a permanent fixture in left. He's in the middle of the lineup. And then get whatever extra starter that the Dodgers can get. The Dodgers don't want to make the same mistake they did last year when they didn't make any moves for their injured starting rotation. Although now, I mean, I don't know, maybe maybe injuries are just up for every organization, but are the Dodgers doing something wrong in terms of how they're managing their pitchers? Or is this just something every team goes through? I'm sure there's some phantom DL stints, or IL stints. I think the Glass now uh, IL was probably a phantom IL stint. I think they just wanted to give him a little extra rest. There's a Jackson Holiday. And here's an Allen Winnens. 11 out of 4.99 refractor autograph for Matt and the Braves. Poor Ozzy Albies, he's going to be on the IL for a little while. Black and white Coco Montes, Heston Kirkstad, Junior Caminero, Jung Hu Lee. There's a Shota. Imanaga will go to EA and the Cubs. Did Vlad Jr. get traded? Here's Weston Wilson. Wilson! Wilson! Ryan with the Phillies. The base Otani. And we got a gold Brandon Lowe. Three out of 50. It's for EA and the Rays. This is Jackson Churio for Michael in Milwaukee. Our third auto is Chris Murphy, 106 out of 150, true blue. Jeff G with the Red Sox. It's Kershaw, we'll see him back in action this week. There's a Jason Dominguez. And a blue Jackson Churio, nice. Two out of 150 for the Brew Crew. Michael Roberts. Future star right there. All right, a couple more boxes to go. Hey, 
go, Ryan Yarbrough. Here's a Junior Caminero rookie autograph for the Tampa Bay Rays. EA and the Rays. I think not only one of the top prospects in the Rays organization, but probably one of the top up and coming prospects in all of baseball. He should have, he would have been called up earlier, but he's had a couple separate sort of thigh quad injuries that have kind of kept him out on a couple IL stints. Here's a Shohei Otani variation. Chris Phelps with the Dodgers. I think we saw did we see the judge variation in here? Now we're gonna do a re I think we did. And then here's an Otani variation. Your two favorites for MVP. AL and NL, respectively. Here is a Aqua Lava Darius Vines, 133 out of 199. Matt with the Braves. There's an Evan Carter. And a Colt Keith, 36 out of 150. I feel like he's having a nice little season. Uh, Michael with the Tigers. Tony Hyper. Chris Phelps and my Dodgers. Ryan McMahon to 299, a little color match, purple speckle. For the Rocks, that's going to go to Eric M. Another Otani refractor this time. Yeah, nice break for you, Chris. Chris Phelps with my Dodgers on a night where Otani hit a mammoth home run. There's Nick Lofton, 52 out of 250. Purple Chrome autograph for Kansas City. It's going to go to David Baker. If you're watching the replay and you're in the future, 
Go back in time to July 21st, 2024. Look for Otani home run highlights. Jackson Holiday. Black and white Sal Freelich and Adley Rushman at the end right there. All right, eighth and final box coming up here in Pick Your Team 7. Good luck, everybody. Anything interesting on MLB trade rumors here? Longoria saying not officially retired, but unlikely to continue playing. What does that mean? That means, uh, oh, if someone calls me, I'll keep playing. I understand I'm not going to get a lot of calls, but if someone calls me. Ty France has been outrighted and he's on waivers. Domingo Herman re-signed to a minor league deal. That's about it. Cardinals have a strong interest in Eric Fetty. Some, some small moves here. Brewers acquiring Tyler J from the Mets. Yeah, Orioles Dodgers have discussed Tariq Skubal. Red Sox Yankees have reportedly talked to the Cubs about Jameson Tyon. Wasn't Tyon on the Yankees for example? <laughs> Excuse me. All right, last box. And Otani back up to bat. There he is again, Otani base. Aaron Judge, Otani. I think those inserts are not, I mean, all card chip, but they're not part of the uh, buyback program. These are right here. Nate saying Cubs got to get rid of uh, Dansby Swanson. Yeah, what are the Cubs trying to do here? There's Mason McCoy, 274 out of 499. I feel like they signed Dansby Swanson, I think, which made it seem like they thought they were closer than they were signing a big free agent, but they're really not. With what in future years could be a very you know, a very uh, attractive contract. That Swanson deal is not going to look very big in a few years. May as well just move that asset now. I'm sure a lot of people would be interested in a Dansby Swanson. You know, move Bellinger. May as well move Bellinger. Goldschmidt to 199. I guess you maybe you keep Suzuki, keep Imanaga, keep like Justin Steele. You can, but they they've got to just accept the fact that they're gonna they're they're rebuilding. It's Yamamoto, it's Goldschmidt. You know, keep guys like that. But then they could worry about adding a, a big name for you. There's the Wyatt that Nguyen was looking for. Base. Yeah, I mean, you don't think Dainsby Swanson will gain a lot of attention? I think he would. Maybe, maybe he's not an attractive option for for the baseball media to talk about, but I 
you know, but if I could get, you know, a shortstop who's capable of, what is he capable of doing? Capable of hitting 280, 20 plus homers in a season, some stolen bases, solid glove, 30-ish doubles a year. Man, I take that. I mean, the Dodgers would take that. Put him at short, move Mookie to second. All right, Emerson Hancock going to Seattle, Steve Kelly. Wow. We stand is saying that the Trout Helix that I hit earlier in the last case sold for six fifty. Ooh. There's Will Smith, the Fresh Prince, to two ninety nine for Chris and the Dodgers. And here's Yoshinobu Yamamoto, 95 out of 250. Purple Chrome autograph for the Dodgers. This has been a really strong case. That's our third and final autograph, third final autograph of the box, final autograph of the break. Chris Phelps with the Dodgers. With Jacob deGrom, green sonar to 99. Ellie Dela Cruz base. Christopher Morrell back here as well. All right, so take a look at this recap. This is worth paying attention to. All right, first of all, just in general, a lot of nice color, a lot of solid autographs, right? There's the Yamamoto. Emerson Hancock's pretty solid too. There's a Otani variation. There's Junior Caminero. Jackson Churio blue. Some more Otanis for the buyback. There's the Aaron Judge variation. There's Sedan Rafaela. Rafaela. All right, we got two of these relics. There's the Chris Bryant, Colton Kowser. Jason Dominguez autograph, almost forgot about that. And the uh, Joey Votto, two relics in here. What a break. That was 2024 Topps Chrome Baseball Jumbo Edition 8-Box Pick Your Team 7. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.